Do you think you have an alter ego? Like, what do you mean? What is APAS if APAS is not bringing anything that is APAS? And APAS is jacking people's styles to make APAS. It doesn't make sense. So I'm putting in hard work every day. I'm in studio. I don't chill around. APAS um, is a really cool artist from Uganda. And I would actually um, say that you're quite versatile about the songwriting. Is it lucrative? Like if you decided this whole year I'm not taking any endorsement and I'm not performing, would you actually make money from songwriting or is this something that needs to, needs to be done more so you can, you know, songwriters can make more money from yes, it? I do it. For example, if let's say Juliana wants a song, I've actually written for her on her album as well, um, and she gives me six million, UG, it's close to 1,800 US dollars. And I write the project, you know, give her the song. She like it, she, she, she puts it out. It works for her and I'm getting paid. That I do, but there are other things as well. People have documentaries, they reach out to me, they want did that day in a documentary, 5,000 US dollars. I get in money, I give you the song, I give you rights to use it for that particular project and I'm moving on. You may not know that I've done that, but I'm doing it. So I think there are so many things to do around the music than actually just do one thing. Some songs, they actually write them for movies, mm -hmm. pitch them to Hollywood. Yes. Because if you really want stuff to work, then you have to put in the, the, the groundwork. You're not going to sit around and say, I write music and no one is taking it. Yeah. People have to take it or you have to pitch it to them and see if they probably like a project. Then probably they bounce on it or the, if they're ready to pay for it, they pay for it. Mm -hmm. That is how it works. So tell me about the, the growth you have experienced the past couple of years and what you project is coming in the next couple of months or so. So far I don't have a projector to project, but um, <laughs> when it comes to my, my, what I envision mm -hmm. is, um, is a largeness mm -hmm. of the brand, not just me, mm -hmm. you know, because I, I train music. Yeah. Me, I'm just like a, a vessel. And I would really want to take Uganda music somewhere else, you know? That's my vision. And I've seen that people have vibed. With Kenya, I think Kenya started more like vibing with my music off to Likubigede. But Gamululu was that song. Kano Gamululu, Gamululu, Gakubiendu. It played a lot. They, they played it so much. So from there, like, more people were getting to really know, like, my kind of sound, like, in East Africa, Rwanda, Burundi, and all these other places. We want to bring something new, we want to bring a new sound, you know. If we feel like we want to dive into hip-hop, we do it, but we do it different. Mm -hmm. If we want to dive into Zouk, we do it different. Mm -hmm. You won't hear my song and feel like I sound like another guy somewhere. No, we don't have that kind of time. Time is to invent. Do you think you have an alter ego? Like, what do you mean? I don't know, I just find that you can be serious and deep and you can also be a funny man. Like, I think I have a split personality, I would say, not like an alter ego, but a uh, split personality. I'm a demon and an angel. Mm -hmm. So we have like a balance. Mm -hmm. So this side, we have a crazy A pass, and that side, we have like a, a very serious A pass. Okay. You get what me I say? Okay. I like a little bit of both, so I accept you the way you are. <laughs> Thank you so much, A pass, for inviting me to your home, to your office. And I love your music. I've been jamming to it um, for quite a while. And I think w from here onwards, the brand and the music is just going to reach more people and go further. And I wish you the best. Please come to Kenya. Come to, let's go to East Africa. I will do your media runs. And we'll go preaching these wonderful messages of power. <laughs> Thank you. Anything you want to tell your fans who are watching? Ah, all my people in Kenya and all over Africa and the world, much love and respect. Them call me a pass. Mad. We out. Okay, guys. Thank you so much. That's um, what we had for you today. Make sure you subscribe to my channel, VIP Access with Aniko. Next week, I'll be interviewing another celebrity. Bye-bye.